Welcome to Fresno City Vision. I'm Randy Reed. Air travel in and out of Fresno has never been easier or more convenient than it is right now. Thanks to a number of impressive improvements that have been made over the past several years at Fresno Yosemite International Airport. The airport is a top-notch facility with great amenities offering direct flights and connecting service to destinations near or far. And joining me to talk today about the Fresno Yosemite International Airport and air travel in and out of Fresno is Vicki Calderon. She is Airport Public Relations Officer for the City of Fresno Airports Department. Vicki, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thanks for being here. All right, let's talk generally about uh, Fresno Yosemite International Airport. How many passengers fly in and out every year? How busy is the airport? Well, last year in 2009, over 1.1 million passengers traveled through Fresno Yosemite International Airport. Mm -hmm. So quite a few travel yeah. throughout the year. And you've made a number of improvements, and we're going to talk about uh, those here very shortly. Um, but let's talk about the flight service that's available. What, uh, what, how many flights, how often, uh, how easy is it to get in and out of Fresno? Well, there are currently eight airlines that travel and provide air service from Fresno Yosemite International Airport and to Fresno Yosemite International Airport. Uh, there's approximately 42 departures that these airlines provide service to Eight, ten destinations, ten nonstop destinations. Right, direct flights, all right. Direct flights, and that includes an international air service to Guadalajara, Mexico. Oh, really? Okay. That, and that's, I guess, what makes Fresno Yosemite an international airport. Absolutely. In part, right? We do have daily nonstop service to Guadalajara, Mexico. And how popular is that? It's been quite popular. Uh, the service started back in April 2006, and it's been extremely popular. Very good. Let's talk about some of the upgrades and improvements that have been made at uh, Fresno Yosemite over the past several years. I know you have a uh, upgraded and improved uh, airline counter passenger counter area, ticketing area, I guess is the right terminology. Talk about that a little bit. We just completed a remodel of the uh, terminal lobby area and the central lobby area. Uh, we aligned all of the ticket counters, airline ticket counters, into one area and now providing LCD screens with the airline's logos and also provides the airlines an opportunity to put up their messaging, what they want their passengers to know. And we've also installed carpet throughout the uh, terminal lobby area, so it kind of minimizes the noise in the airport terminal. And then what we're really excited about is that we completed our sense of place project, which are the giant sequoia trees that are in the central terminal lobby. And these giant sequoia trees represent the airport's close proximity to the three national parks. Okay, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that project in a moment. Uh, the airline, uh, the, the, the ticketing area is just beautiful now. It's very clean, very open. You mentioned quiet and uh, a really nice uh, enhancement to that area. Right. It's a clean, uh, efficient um, look. Mm -hmm. It provides passengers with easy mobility to get through uh, the airline ticket counter check-in process. It kind of streamlines the congestion. So we're really excited about that. Very good. Now, a baggage claim area, you've made some improvements there as well, much more efficient than it was in the past. Describe yes, that. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. We've doubled the size of the baggage claim area, okay. so we've expanded, and we now have two brand new T-shaped carousels for um, baggage, so passengers can come in from their flights and collect their baggage, and it's really nice because there's not as much congestion as there was before. Okay, and you can see a picture of that right here, and so... Uh, I remember way back when you would have to wait outside for now. This has been years, but <laughs> that was a long when time I first ago. came to Fresno, you waited outside for bags, and now that's not the case. Uh, clearly, hasn't been for a while, but but now uh, a much easier and uh, more convenient uh, way to, right. to get your and bags it's more of a place. modernized look. Very much so. And the uh, car rental uh, counters are right in that same baggage claim area, and you've also done something with the rental car facility. Describe that. Yes, uh, along with the uh, terminal remodel, the baggage claim expansion project, we completed a consolidated rental car facility. And what's neat about this consolidated rental car facility is that it's conveniently located just outside of the baggage claim area. So passengers can collect their baggage, and if they're renting a, a vehicle, they can go right outside and collect their vehicle. Okay. And it kind of has um, an environmental component to it as well because there's no need to shuttle passengers around in a shuttle bus to a consolidated rental car facility right. where they would collect their a car. A lot of airports I've been to, right, you have to get on the shuttle bus, you have to go you know, off property basically, and it takes a lot more time. This Absolutely. is a lot more efficient. And, uh, more efficient and convenient 
for the passengers. Mm -hmm. All they do again is collect their baggage and their car is waiting for them right outside. Okay. Now passenger screening by the TSA ha is always an issue whenever you're flying in any airport, uh, but I know uh, Fresno Yosemite is making some improvements in that area as well. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yes, the uh, passenger security screening area is currently being expanded as well, okay. and that project will minimize the passenger congestion during peak hours. Um, our busiest time is in the morning, and usually you'll see a line, so now these passengers can uh, line up more efficiently mm -hmm. and get through the security screening process, and that will kind of minimize the congestion in the central terminal lobby.